Okay, everybody, welcome back to another edition of uh, Basic Photoshop Tutorials. This week we're going to be doing the neon effect. Uh, sometimes you see it on text uh, or on objects a lot uh, in print and uh, sometimes in video. Uh, but for now, we're just going to do a simple object and we're going to convert it to a neon look. It's very easy to do. Uh, so we'll just go right into it. So once you have your background created, let's make it black because uh, obviously the black is what will show the neon a lot better. So once you have that done, and that's simply done by using the paint bucket tool with your background selected and your black color chosen, just left click and fill in it as, as black. Next thing you want to do is uh, let's just create an object on your screen. So to do that, you can use um, anything you want. It uh, doesn't really matter, but I'm going to use a custom shape in this case. Um, the custom shape I'm going to use is this moon right here. Go ahead and just grab that. Once you have that done, just hold down the shift key and left click and drag the mouse and that will create your shape. Okay? Now the shape is black, so you'll notice that it won't you can't see it, but uh, we'll simply just change that to white for now. Okay? So now that we have that created, we what we want to do is to create the neon effect. So first of all, let's turn off our show transform controls if you don't already have them turned off. That gets rid of the boxes and the dots around your shape. We're going to go ahead and double click on the white color palette, or if you haven't changed your color yet, uh, the black one. Uh, so go ahead and double click on that, and you'll open up the color palette box as well. And then what we're going to do is uh, actually, no, let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way by going into blending options. Open up the blending options. This way, if we change it in the future, we'll just come into here and change it this way. So we're going to do a color overlay. What we want our color overlay is uh, is we want it the a really lighter color than the neon we're going to be working with. So in this case, we're going to do a red neon. So we want our color to be a really light red, which is almost like a pink. So it may be even lighter than that. Okay. So now that we have our our color overlay on, uh, we're going to add a, a a glow effect, and that's just the outer glow effect. So we'll just click on that box. And what we want to do is we want to change the color of the glow to a red, like simply the reddest of reds. So that would be the FF0000. That's the reddest of reds. And what we'll do is we'll use all the brightest colors if you ever change it. Use the brightest and most intense color. Just gives it the best effect. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure that glow is a lot bigger. So added to the neon effect. So we're going to come down to spread and make it about a, uh, let's make it about a six. And the size, go ahead and make it about, in this case, I'm going to make it uh, about 15. Okay, and leave everything else the way it is, and just hit OK. So there, that looks pretty good neon-wise. Um, but, what? of course, neon is not supposed to be a thick sort of um, object. It's sort of like neon tubes. Uh, that's where the neon's coming from, the gases in those tubes. So and to create the tube effect, what we want to do is we want to hold down the Control key, over top of your shape one actually sorry go to layer and rasterize your uh, your uh, shape and that way we can manipulate it and delete some of the paths so sorry so now we're gonna go ahead and go into shape one again so hold down control and left click and that brings up the marquee around your shape and what we want to do is we want to contract that marquee so that we cut out a little bit of that shape so what we do for that is to go to select modify and contract very simple. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and contract it by two. And actually, let's do that a little more. So go to layer again, or sorry, select again, modify, contract, and let's do it by another two. So now that we have all that done, uh, well, this marquee has been contracted into our shape. We want to delete the portion that the marquee is highlighting. So simply just hit the delete key. Okay, and then hit Control and D, and that gets rid of your marquee. So there we have it. That's our neon effect. Very easy to do. And it's probably one of the easiest things in Photoshop to do, uh, and it looks great. And of course, you can um, manipulate the glow size and the spread of it just to add a little more to the technique. It's totally up to you. But l once again, make sure your sh your uh, your shape is not a thick object; otherwise, it won't look as good, and it never should be a thick object. So there you go. That's your glow effect, your neon effect, whatever it is you want to call it, in Photoshop. And uh, once again, everybody, to make sure you subscribe uh, and rate and comment. And uh, if you have any requests or questions, just let me know. All right, I'll talk to you later.